Jesus told him, I am the way, the truth and the life. No one can come to the Father except through me. John 14, 6. John 8, 32. And you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. For God is spirit and so those who worship him must worship in spirit and in truth. John 4, 24. The whole armour of God, a final word. Be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on all of God's armour so that you will be able to stand firm against all strategies of the devil. For we are not fighting against flesh and blood enemies, but against evil rulers and authorities of the unseen world, against mighty powers in this dark world, and against evil spirits in the heavenly places. Therefore, put on every piece of God's armour so you will be able to resist the enemy in the time of evil. Then after the battle, you will still be standing firm. Stand your ground, putting on the belt of truth and the body armour of God's righteousness. For shoes, put on the peace that comes from the good news so that you will be fully prepared. In addition to all of these, hold up the shield of faith to stop the fiery arrows of the devil. Put on salvation as your helmet and take the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. Pray in the Spirit at all times and on every occasion. Stay alert and be persistent in your prayers for all believers everywhere. And pray for me too. Ask God to give me the right word so I can boldly explain God's mysterious plan that the good news is for Jews and Gentiles alike. I am in chains now, still preaching this message as God's ambassador. So pray that I will keep on speaking boldly for him, as I should. Have you joined the Half a Billion Club? Have you joined... If you haven't joined, I recommend that you join now. The free YouVersion Bible app. Life-changing. To have access to the Bible, to be able to search, going to discover, to search for wisdom, to get scriptures all about wisdom, to see Bible plans all about wisdom, to see images about wisdom that you can click on. Hallelujah. If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God who gives generously to all without finding fault and it will be given to you. Hallelujah. Spend time with the wise and you will become wise. Proverbs thirteen twenty. Then what you can do from here, you can save the image. You can save it to your phone and then you can print it out. You can have it as screensavers. All oh, glory, praise and honour to God. The countdown begins. The countdown begins to hitting the half a billion installs. Glory, glory, glory. Daz Antwis, you've been chosen to be free. You've been called by name. Hey, Lee, you have been called by name. Jesus loves you. God will never leave you nor forsake you. Jacqueline Edwards, you are fearfully and wonderfully made in his image. Lillian Alderding, you have been called by name. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Sister Victoria, all oh, glory, praise and honour to God for the calling upon your life, for the heart that our Father has given you, for everything that you are doing. Karen Holdsworth, God bless you, sister. You are fearfully and wonderfully made in his image. For everyone listening and watching now, there is no height, nor depth, nor any other creature that will be able to separate you from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Whatever you've been through in your life, whatever you have been through, let me just share something. Let me, let me just share this. Let me read this out to you. 
No matter what you've been through in your life, it is likely that you've experienced tremendous loss in your life. It could be marriage related or not. No matter what it is or when it happened, there is an experience that God wants to turn around and use to help someone else. According to 2 Corinthians 1 verses 3 to 4, we are to take the comfort we've received from God and use that same comfort to comfort someone else because we've been there. We've lived it. We've healed from it and through it. And not only have you lived through it and found divine healing from God, you've come out on the other side of it and actually have life again. God wastes nothing. God works in it all and through it all for his glory. It doesn't say in Romans 8.28 that God sits around and waits for things to happen. It says he works and he doesn't just work in some things. He works in all things. Hallelujah. When you minister to someone from a place where great pain once resided, a new level of healing occurs in your own life. When we help someone through something that we were helped through, we remind ourselves, hey, what you went through wasn't in vain. What you barely lived through is, a, is actually no hope for someone else. What nearly killed you will actually bring hope to someone else one day. It's a spiritual pay it forward concept that not only helps others, but also redeems our own pain. The countdown continues. Have you joined the Half a Billion Club? Glory, 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 hallelujah. Michaela, God bless you, sister. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let me go back. Once again, when you minister to someone from a place where great pain once resided, a new level of healing occurs in your own life. When we help someone through something that we were helped through, we remind ourselves, hey, what you went through wasn't in vain. What you barely lived through is actually no hope for someone else. What nearly killed you will actually bring hope to someone else one day. It's a spiritual pay it forward concept that not only helps others, but also redeems our own pain. Never in my wildest dreams did I imagine my husband and I would be where we are today. Someday you will be the one to another's hand when they've learned that their life is changed forever by an affair, a trial, an obstacle. You will be the one to offer hope to that person because you are still here, still standing and still living. That is key. People in pain want to know how they will survive it how they will live again. And while your actions to help them are needed, simply standing by their side is enough. The gift of your presence will do them wonders, more than you know. Food for thought, make a list of experiences from your life. Ask the Father to show you how he wants to use your past to impact someone's future. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. When I read this, this was about three months, two, three months into my journey, having given my life to Jesus. And this was when our father began to reveal to me the calling upon my life. 2 Corinthians 1 verses 3 to 4. All praise to God, the father of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is our merciful father and the source of all comfort. He comforts us in all our troubles so that we can comfort others. When they are troubled, we will be able to give them the same comfort God has given us. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Romans 8, 28. And we know that God causes everything to work together for the good of those who love God and are called according to his purpose for them. Isaiah 55, verse 8 and 9, My thoughts are nothing like your thoughts, says the Lord, and my ways are far beyond anything you could imagine. For just as the heavens are higher than the earth, so my ways are higher than your ways, and my thoughts higher than your thoughts. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God bless you, sister Elaine. May the Holy Spirit be upon you now. Jane Little, God bless you, sister. Rob Clark, greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Here we go. Here we go. The countdown is on. Have you installed the YouVersion Bible app? The verse of the day. Hallelujah. 
Hebrews 4. For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing a sound of soul and spirit, and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Hallelujah for the word of the day. Here we go. Here we go. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Can I do this quickly? Here we go. Glory, glory, hallelujah for this app, the life-changing version Bible app. Glory, glory, hallelujah. You, I declare and decree, you have been chosen to be free. You have been called by name. Who the sun sets free is free indeed. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Half a billion installs and counting of the version Bible app. I declare and decree now for you in your life. Our Father is taking you to places you never thought possible. Our Father is filling you now with his Holy Spirit. Our Father has got a calling upon your life. His hand is mighty upon your life. You are going to be speaking and declaring the word of God like you have never done before. You are going to be smashing down demonic strongholds because the word of God is sharper than any two-edged sword. And the weapons that you fight with are not carnal. On the contrary, they have divine power to break down strongholds. Glory, glory, hallelujah. We praise his holy name. To finish off. Thank you, Jesus. Nearly all of these are taken from the version Bible app. In fact, I'm going to go on to the, I'm going to go on to the ministry website, Become Born Again. Please join this group if you haven't joined it already. There are 106 members. Who is going to be the 107th member? God has connected up my entire life with the number one or seven. All glory, praise and honour to God. When you go on to the ministry website, if you go into albums, I have created um, this album here. The Word of God to Encourage You, 302 items. So nearly all of these are taken from the Version Bible app. I pray these words into your life now. Be still and know that I am God. Psalm 46, verse 10. If you're going through a storm right now, may these words, may these words calm your mind now. Be still and know that I am God. One Corinthians thirteen verse thirteen, and now these three remain: faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. But the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness gentleness and self-control. Who wouldn't want to live with the fruit of the Spirit? I ask in the name of Jesus that through the Holy Spirit you are receiving giftings, you are receiving revelation, you are receiving more of the unfailing love of our Father because nothing in all creation will ever be able to separate us from the love of God that is revealed in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Jesus answered, I am the way, the truth and the life. Ephesians 5.11 Everything done in the dark will be brought to the light. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Give people Give light and people will find the way. Thank you, Jesus. For he will put his angels in charge of you to guard you in all your ways. Psalm 91 verse 11.
love one another for love comes from God. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Then you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. Here I am. I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come in and eat with that person and they with me. Hallelujah. For we are not fighting against flesh and blood enemies, but against evil rulers and authorities of the unseen world. May you just receive this word like never before. You may never have seen this word before. For you and me, for we are not fighting against flesh and blood enemies, but against evil rulers and authorities of the unseen world. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Thank you, Jesus, for what you did on the cross for me and for every person that's watching. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. I am sure what we are suffering now cannot compare with the glory that will be shown to us. Hallelujah. Now all glory to God, who is able through his mighty power at work within us to accomplish infinitely more than we might ask or think. Fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of faith. For the joy set before him, he endured the cross, scorning its shame and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today and forever. Be joyful in hope, patient in affliction, faithful in prayer. Not even the powers of hell can separate us from God's love. Hallelujah. Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. The profound words of Jesus on the cross. If you've been crying a lot, know that those who sow with tears will reap with songs of joy. Know that you can pray for anything and if you have faith, you will receive it. Jeremiah 33 verse 3, call to me and I will answer you and will tell you great and hidden things that you have not known. Those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. God bless you, Sister Lillian. Thank you. Thank you, Sister Lillian. Praise the name of the Lord. Jesus looked at them and said, With man this is impossible, but with God all things are possible. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. In a land of deep darkness, a light will shine. Thank you, Jesus, for being the light of the world. 
I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you for watching this. God bless you. Thank you for supporting the ministry. Please have a look on the ministry website, becomebornagain.com and um, be blessed, be encouraged, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Agape Paul.